In the event that you are interested in acquiring the most recent information and speculations regarding Ripple XRP, then you should make it a point to regularly check out our channel. With regard to this particular information, we will be sending it to you. It would be greatly appreciated if you could proceed to share this information with other families who are located in the vicinity after you have ensured that you have liked and subscribed to the page. I am going to take care of everything for you because I want to make things as simple and straightforward as possible for you. Kindly have a seat, put your feet up, and loosen up. Thank you. Over 1,364 days have passed since the Securities and Exchange Commission SE initiated its legal action against Ripple, a cryptocurrency exchange. In the end, the disagreement was resolved to everyone's satisfaction. Since the year 2020, Ripple has been the subject of ongoing litigation, which has resulted in a substantial amount of criticism and damage being perpetrated against the community consisting of cryptocurrency users. The legal proceeding has been going on for a considerable amount of time. Over the course of the past 60 days, the value of XRP has climbed by about 8%, and it has increased by more than 20% over the course of the past 90 days, which has contributed to the whole market value increasing by more than $60,000. As a consequence of the news of the litigation over XRP, the Securities and Exchange Commission has demanded that individual investors are responsible for damages of up to $15 billion. Additionally, the Securities and Exchange Commission has acted in a manner that has impeded innovation and forced other businesses that are operating in the same industry to seek aid through the bankruptcy process. In addition, the Securities and Exchange Commission has been held responsible for the loss of billions of dollars in public funds throughout the course of the conflict. A number of these include the damages of $15 billion that were awarded to investors and XRP, as well as the legal expenses of $200 million that Ripple was required to pay. This aspect of the issue is the foundation upon which the belief that the entire war was fought to safeguard investors is built. This is because the Securities and Exchange Commission has been striving to corner a NASA sector in order to choose winners and losers. This is due to the fact that the SEC is not attempting to capture the entire sector. Furthermore, there is the issue of being compensated for one's acts, which is yet another concern. In addition to the fact that it is quite unfortunate that we are still in the heart of this fight after more than three years have passed, it is also extremely important to keep in mind that the rules are clear, that there is already clarity, and that the regulations and laws that pertain to securities and cryptocurrencies are relatively straightforward. At the most recent hearings that were held by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the attorneys for Coinbase and Binance stated that the tokens that they have released are not securities but rather security tokens. This was stated in response to the question of whether or not the tokens are securities. Concerns have been raised regarding the authenticity of the statements made by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC due to the fact that there is a possibility that the SEC might have an effect on markets and the market itself. The Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC ongoing conflict with Ripple has, in a nutshell, had a substantial influence on the cryptocurrency market. This conflict has been going on for quite some time. The acts of the Securities and Exchange Commission have resulted in the loss of billions of dollars that were paid by taxpayers. These measures have caused tremendous damage and have caused the loss of billions of dollars. A significant amount of effort has been put forth by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC in order to safeguard investors and ensure that the cryptocurrency business remains transparent. The fact is, however, that their efforts have led to a circumstance that is not only challenging but also contentious, despite the fact that they have often asserted that this is not the case. The Securities and Exchange Commission CC maintains its position that the cryptocurrency token itself is a security, despite it having previously stated that it is not a security. A number of various court proceedings, such as the hearings for Coinbase and Binance, have included the discussion of this contentious issue, and it has also been brought up in a few other cases. The fact that the 10 crypto assets that are at issue in secondary markets that are regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission continue to be offered and sold as investment contracts is one of the issues that the SEC has raised against these types of assets. One of the worries that the SSIC has expressed is that this is the case. Because of the Ho rule, the Securities and Exchange Commission claims that its promotional and economic reality have not been severely impacted in any manner. This assertion is based on the fact that the O rule has not been implemented. This is completely absurd. According to the chief legal officer of Coinbase, who expressed remorse for any confusion that may have been caused by the Securities and Exchange Commission's incorrect and repeated assertion that tokens themselves are securities, this comment was cited. Coinbase expressed regret for any uncertainty that may have been generated. The Coinbase platform, it was also said that they are sorry for any mistakes that may have been made as a result of the activities done by the SCSCSE. It is important to note that the United States does not have any rules, regulations, or particular guidelines that are applicable to Bitcoin. In addition, the usage of the term crypto asset securities by the Securities and Exchange Commission has caused a considerable number of people to experience sentiments of frustration and uncertainty. A daily transaction volume of billions of dollars is generated by the company, which has millions of investors that are involved in the investments. It is possible that the activities taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission have resulted in the formation of a market that is not only challenging but also perplexing.
There is a possibility that this market may have substantial repercussions not only for the overall industry but also for the general population. The extensive track record of regulation and enforcement that the SEC has created demonstrates that tokens themselves are securities. This is extremely clear, since it is proved by the fact that tokens themselves are securities. Within the context of the Securities and Exchange Commission CC, tokens themselves are regarded as securities. The Securities and Exchange Commission, on the other hand, asserts in the very first sentence of their case against Ripple that XRP itself is a security. This is in contrast to the previous statement. They claim that XRP was traded for more than 14.6 billion units in exchange for cash or other incentives totaling more than $138 billion. This is the case in their particular scenario. Elson and Garlinghouse benefited from this action which was taken in order to fund Ripple's activities. It is precisely this subject that has been brought up, and it is one of the heated concerns that has surfaced in the year 2020. It has recently come to the attention of the Securities and Exchange Commission that the concept of crypto asset security is a fabrication. This discovery comes after a considerable amount of time has passed. In order to demonstrate that a crypto asset security is an investment contract, the Securities and Exchange Commission requires evidence of a collection of contracts, expectations, and understandings. This proof is required in order to obtain additional information. In light of the numerous initiatives that are currently accessible on the market, there is no way that the Securities and Exchange Commission will be able to achieve success. The Securities and Exchange Commission has evolved into a convoluted web of inconsistencies. Moreover, there is no way that it could defeat it. The litigation that has been filed against Ripple and XRP is absurd due to the fact that it has been going on for more than 13.00 days. This is due to the fact that problems have never been fixed. There have even been claims made by Stuart O'Lordy that the case has been resolved and that the route forward is being laid with the introduction of a stable currency, the announcement of upgrades, and Ripple's complete concentration on institutions. These statements have been made. Following a period of more than four years of back and forth, the Securities and Exchange Commission has finally arrived at the conclusion that crypto assets do not meet the legal requirements to be classified as securities. Taking into consideration this verdict, the retail industry has taken a huge hit. In an effort to delay these processes for as long as they possibly can, they have been making efforts to do so, consequently wasting both time and money while simultaneously providing advantages to large incumbents in the workforce. Austin has noted that the activities taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission are not only illogical, perplexing, and uncoordinated, but they also do not function in a manner that is advantageous to the retail industry. This may be attributed to the fact that the actions are not coordinated. After years of back and forth between the two sides, the Securities and Exchange Commission has finally come to the conclusion that crypto assets are not securities. Taking this decision into consideration is regarded as a substantial regression. Following more than four years of back and forth between the two sides, the Securities and Exchange Commission has finally come to the conclusion that crypto assets are not securities. Because of the considerable loss that this verdict represents, neither the retail sector nor the industry as a whole will be able to begin the process of recovering from the situation. Although the purpose of these films is to provide viewers with a pleasant experience, I strongly recommend that viewers do their own research and consult with professionals before making any decisions regarding their financial condition. Your time is valuable to me, and I would be thankful if you could show your appreciation by liking the video on YouTube. Thank you in advance for taking into consideration my request. I also suggested that you start receiving notifications if you want to be informed of any modifications that I submit as soon as I publish new content. This is something that I have recommended to you. It is my hope that the upcoming video will be successful for you. I will keep my fingers crossed.